And then when you look at it, you see things where it's like he's making videos and he's cutting horse legs and all that. He's taunting her Mm -hmm. and he continues to lie about shooting her. Big Boy's Big Neighborhood. Boy. All right, and now Big Boy Uncut, Megan yes. Thee Stallion in her words, man. And there's a new documentary with Megan Thee Stallion, and it's on Amazon Prime. I had a chance to check out it, uh, check it out in its entirety. Yeah. And yesterday, it really sparked a conversation in the neighborhood that was off air. And the conversation that we were having, it was so many, like, different opinions that I just felt like, man, I feel a certain way. I know Ani feels a certain way. Jesus feels a certain way. Louis, I don't know if you chimed in on the, on the conversation from yesterday, yeah. but I'm pretty sure that you would feel a certain way as well when it comes to Megan Thee Stallion and the actual documentary she put together. Yeah, I can see like everyone's point, especially with this documentary that like said something that was totally new that nobody heard before. Right, right. Specifically, so yeah. now I'm like, okay, now I can understand a couple things, but still. And with the documentary in her words, man, for Uncut, and we were talking about this with, you know, just watching it Mm -hmm. with Megan, you know, not with Megan Thee Stallion, but of course Megan Thee Stallion put a a body of work together for a documentary, and she covered a whole lot. But I feel like the one thing that people keep kind of breaking on or pausing on, even people in the neighborhood, was the Tory Lanez part. Mm Yeah, You know, and so, Ani, you were very opinionated. When it came to when it came to the Tory Lanez thing, yeah, like I feel like she could have left that out of the documentary just because that's the first thing that people picked up on. And like you said, but you watched the whole documentary; it was like so much emotions in there about her family, about her mom, and everything. So it's like, why bring that? Why say you lied about Tory? You know why? Because I, and that's the thing about it. She she said when she sat with down with Gail King. Yeah. That she did lie when Gail King asked about what the relationship consists of. What was of. the nature of your relationship with Tory Lanez? Because he has mm-hmm. led led people to believe that it was a sexual relationship, that right. it was. So this uh, is the sit down uh-huh. after she was shot, and she sat down with Gail King. You guys know Gail King, mm-hmm. also Oprah's friend, so on and so forth. And so she really, you know, kind of just asked her uh, about that it. That you two were. Dating? What was the nature? We were of your... not dating. What we were really name? close. We were friends. We hung out like every day, and his mom passed too. So when I felt like we were bonding over, over that, that. Mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. did you have an intimate relationship with him? Like sexual? Yeah. Yes. Did you? Have, <laughs> did you, Megan? Did you have a sexual relationship <laughs> with Tory Lanez? Yes. That's my question. Um, I didn't have a sexual relationship with Tory. All righty. So she sat down. With Gail King, Gail King, it wasn't like it was a straight gotcha. We're like, oh, I can understand the question. I think that Gail King was very straightforward mm-hmm. with asking, did you have a sexual relationship with Tory Lanez? Mm-hmm. And she said, no. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> the pause, even that's what even 50 Cent was tripping off of when he when he was on the attack. He was saying it was the pause and he didn't believe it. And then he came into the neighborhood and we'll play that part as well where he did apologize But she did lie to Gail King. And when you watch the documentary, she came back and she said this. Yes, I lied to Gail King. First of all, I didn't know that people even asked me about it. You always want to talk about the shooting. Why did you ask me about fucking Tory? That's not what this is about. Even if I was, I fucked this nigga like once, maybe twice on drunk night. But you kept catching me out of my fucking mind. You know what's crazy about Mm. that? That's the one thing that social media kind of took off on. Right. Yeah. You know, and that that's what it. we were having a conversation about yesterday. And you felt like she shouldn't have said it. No, like just me being someone who also handles a lot of social media. Like if I were to be in that room with her, I'd be like, Megan, like this is such a beautiful documentary. I don't think you need to tell the public this. This is your story. But it's, it's a your documentary of truth. It's a documentary of truth, a documentary of growth. You know what I'm saying? And and her truth was, let, what if she wanted to release something from her? I think you could go to therapy for that. And maybe what if she went to therapy? She did. But here's the thing. The court of public opinion now is going to start attacking you. And they are attacking you like, oh, now we can't. You're you're not reliable. But you know what? I'm looking at things. People saying, oh, she lied. Free Tory. Free Tory. The dude fucking shot her. No, I'm not taking anything away from that. I'm not talking to you. I'm just saying the dude fucking shot her. And then when you look at it, you see things where it's like, He's making videos and he's cutting horse legs and all that. He's taunting her Mm -hmm. and he continues to lie about shooting her. And I've always been a protector of women, dude. And the dude, no matter if she slept with him, he told her, bitch, dance. Mm -hmm. 
and mm-hmm. shot her. So when I start to see certain things where it's like, free Tory, she's a liar. No, the dude is a fucking criminal and mm-hmm. he shot her. And I fucks with Tory. But let's let's make it what it is, bro. Like, you can't say free this dude and she's a liar, this, that, and the other, man, when he shot her. But that's exactly why I think she should have left it out because now that gives people the like that go, like, oh, she lied? Okay, cool. Like, free Tory. She lied about everything right. else. Because some why bums do- on the internet are saying that that, that she lied. But that's my thing, Big. Like, why would you put that out there when you know how the internet is? Like, your right. career started off Maybe the internet. Maybe it's her truth. It mm-hmm. is, but I just feel like some things you don't have to share with All everyone. Right. Jesus? Yeah, uh, my, my, my take on it is that, that she loses credibility when it comes to, like, her telling truths. That's mm-hmm. my thing. It's like, to me, it's like, oh. You don't like, lie? I feel uncomfortable. You don't lie? Lying. Yeah, but something like that, it's different. That she fucked Tori? That, yeah, because it's like, first she said she didn't. Right. And then she was like, no, I you didn't. You never it's lied like, about like, fucking somebody? But she told no, when, I, when it's I, like I, that. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, but you're talking, cam- about, you're talking about the, de- ca- you're talking about like the degree of it. Uh, the degree like of it. All like the things that, that came it's with very, it. The, the, the yeah. moment is very crucial. Right. You don't lie yeah, in that true. moment. In that moment, why would you lie? Not everybody's going to like pick your words. And like, you're the one that's complaining. You're the one that's not complaining, but you're the one that's like got hurt. Like, we're all going to be listening to you. Like who cares if you if you if you fucked them? Who yeah. cares? And you know what? I wouldn't I, I care think, if she said it. Who cares? I think if there is a rewind, I think yeah. if she would have just said, "Yeah, I did have sexual intercourse yeah. with him," yeah. but at the time, if you watch the documentary, she was saying that she didn't know the question was coming. Mm-hmm. Even yeah. after when soon as she got in, she was like, "Oh my god, I thought it was just an interview about such and such." So that's why it's the pause caught up in the moment. And I got to give her being a human being as well because we've yeah. all been in situations where we talked about something. And we lied. It's just mm-hmm. that now this is Tory Lanez and this is Megan Thee Stallion. And for some reason, everybody's held to a different standard, I guess. Right. Yeah. But you're getting interviewed. You're getting all this attention. You're doing it right. yourself. You're creating all of this. Like, yo, talk to me. I want to uh, let this all out. Right. I want to tell my story. Then be truthful. Then be real. I got you. If you want to be real, then be real. Yeah, I want to tell my story and that was so the now, moment. Right. So now I'm like, oh, are you like... Uh, also, are you influence what people are gonna say? So everything you say now, everything you promote, everything you put out, I'm like, did somebody tell you what to do? Is it? You're, are you thinking like, like what is like your PR gonna say? What is this? What is like? You're, you're thinking too much. Right. Why don't you just be honest of who you are? Right. Okay. That's I all can, I'm I can saying. Take that. I can take that. I, I I see his point, and I see that's the one thing I did see on social where it was like, well, she lied about that. She probably lied about this, and she lied about that. And she like, like dog. Like you said, it just comes down to like you cannot lie. The fact that she had bullet fragments on her foot, yeah, and the guy shot her. Like, right? There's nothing that is gonna make her a liar off of that. It's crazy up. because I think in the court of public opinion, and in the and, and on social media, mm-hmm. I think that her lying is bigger than him shooting her. Yeah. And that's what I'm seeing. Yeah. Is that people saying she's a liar. She's mm-hmm. a liar. She's a this. So you could say, hey man, how many girls did this dude shoot? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I, if he shot one, how many times has he shot at somebody? Yeah, I, man. Was it in a drunken stupor, like he said? Like, what is he capable of doing? If he did that, then maybe he killed some you can go on and on with this. Yeah. But people are the court of public opinion is holding Megan D. Stallion to a different standard than they are with Tory Lanez. Free, you know, free mm-hmm. Tory, this, that, she lied about this, she lied. Right. So if he can shoot at Megan Thee Stallion, a superstar, then he can shoot at you, honey. Yeah, no, I'm not saying that he didn't do it. I'm right. saying he is, but I'm saying for her sake, like you said, the court of public opinion, big, like before somebody drops an album, we can already say it sucks. Just because that's how we feel on the internet, right? right? Like, based off that. Me, she's watched this documentary before it released. She saw the part she talked about. She knew that people were going to come at her for this. I think that that is just the real truth. And when you watch the entire documentary, I can tell that she's fragile. You know, that they, you know. So even with her saying, yeah, fuck you, put it out. That right there is, I think that that's the truth that no one else can handle. It's her truth. I wouldn't want that truth. I mean, there's you some wouldn't things, want that truth. But I don't you, think you haven't truth, arrived there yet. I just don't think every truth needs to be public. Right. Like I you could have like, kept uh, that. To but yourself. this is her truth. Yeah, I feel like there's two takes. Okay. I feel like the take on him shooting her. It's like, yeah, that's, that's no brainer. Obvious. Mm-hmm, like, yeah. fuck that guy for doing that, right? But there's another take that people are talking about, which is lying. That we caught. She was caught lying. It's just put on blast or being fake. We're seeing that. The public is going to have their opinions on that. And that's what they're saying. Now, I don't agree on the fact that now everything she says is a lie about the whole shooting part. It's like, no, 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 no. Let's, that, that's the, when people are arguing about that, they're wrong. Yeah, that's right. crazy. The public is wrong for like just 
thinking that but he should be free for because she lied. No, but, that's dumb. But that's, that's the way that clickbait is in, in yeah. certain exactly. things because you didn't watch the documentary. Exactly. Jesus. No. You didn't watch the documentary, Ani. No. And you didn't watch the documentary, mm-hmm. Louis. I watched mm-hmm. parts of it. I watched the documentary. Right. And if you see the documentary, no one is talking about how her mom really was like the one in her corner. Yeah. No her one's manager, talking about everything. how her mom is the one that was a rapper and, and gave her flow and how she was lost without her mom, yeah. losing her grandmother, the uh, going to college. No, nobody's talking about the building of this woman mm-hmm. and the, the real loss that she's had and the real passion that she's had and how hurt she can be and how vulnerable she is. No one's talking about that. Everybody went straight. Like even before I saw the documentary, Ani, the first thing that we were seeing online, we were you were like, "Oh my God, this document!" Everybody's talking about how she lied. Yep. And I watched mm-hmm. the entire documentary. Now, granted, no one's going to sit there and watch it because we're in a clickbait society right now. We are in a trailer society. The yep. trailer sucks. The movie sucks. Mm-hmm. I saw the trailer. I don't want to watch the movie. I heard a piece of the song. A, a song. I don't want to know the album. The album's whack, but you didn't even listen to the album. Mm -hmm. And, of course, you could base your opinion on just that, and that would be your opinion. The same way anyone that's watching this or anyone that's in the neighborhood, I'm not going to change your opinion just the same way you're not going to change mine. In 20 minutes of an uncut, there's no way I'm going to walk out of here and say anything different than when I came in. I can see views and I can see, yeah. like, damn, why did she say that? Because there's things in my life that I'm like, I'm not going to fucking say that. Yeah, yeah, but see, like, to that point, mm-hmm. Big, that's the, exactly why I feel like she should have left that out. Because, you, like so. you said, it's not such yet. a beautiful documentary. You know people are not nice on the internet. They're not going to be empathetic to you. They don't want that. People have horrible lives sometimes. They just want to hate on you. So the moment they see something bad, they're like, yeah, gotcha, so let's talk about that. So she shouldn't have told her truth. I don't think so, just because I feel like it takes away from the documentary and what a beautiful, sad... Had, what Why a haven't journey you she's watched had. the documentary? Because I was busy this weekend okay. and it came out on Friday. Gotcha. Why haven't you watched it? Uh, I don't really. Like, I'm not invested into this. Right, right, like right. Like that. Okay. Like my thing is, just I just got. Saw the when when she lied, I'm like, damn, why would she lie? Right. That's, that's crazy. Gotcha. My thing and that's is, the way a lot of people seen that. A lot of people yeah. that probably went up and talked about it didn't watch it either. Mm-hmm, for yeah. sure. And and my thing is this: before it even came out and they announced that something was coming, the first thing I think. Majority of the people said, even I said, I said, I can't wait for her to explain the Tory Lane situation. Right. I can't wait for that. So if the documentary came out without the Tory Lane situation or her talking about it, I would have probably would have been pissed. Yeah. Or people would have been, like, been upset. Mm-hmm. Or people would have said, dude, she didn't even address the no. the Gail King thing. The elephant right. in the room. Oh, she slid right past right. that. Yeah. Dip, I mean, everybody dip, dip. wants the drama. You know, everybody wants the, uh, the drama behind that situation. Hey, it, man. And when she explained. Tori can't even believe he shot me at this point. Like, he's like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I apologize. I apologize. He's like, Megan, I swear to God, I'll get y'all a million dollars. Please million don't dollars. say nothing. Just don't tell nobody. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? A million dollars? Like, y'all should be focused on trying to help me. Caps were there for them. Uh-huh. Hey, man, when I saw her There's again, so many police is fucking helicopters out of the van and walking in. I'm fucking and I was shook like, oh. because George Floyd had just died. Like, the climate with the police right now, they are killing people left and right. Shoot first, mm-hmm. fuck the questions. So yeah. I'm like, we about to die. Like, these police are about to kill all of us. And that's a moment, too. You got to think about the moment in time. Yep. And people was like, well, why she didn't just drop dimes? She was like, dude, happened. I was I worried about him. That this boy just shot this gun because Listen. I do not want to see him get shot and killed. Right. So I said, oh, I stepped on glass because I didn't want nobody to die. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, and it's a sign of the they time. They took me too. to the hospital. The police still questioning me. I just want to be over this. But then the doctor came in. He's like, it's bullet fragments in your feet. Mm. Yeah, man. Can't fake the glass anymore. There's like, a bullet I'm in up. your fucking I'm in your this butt. bed looking crazy. I'm hurting. He was my fucking friend. And I feel so dumb because it must have been some signs that could have been showing me this whole time something like mm. i should have saw something and you know yeah, and, right. and Ani, i can understand what you're saying you're not saying that he's not guilty he's very guilty yeah. Yeah, yeah or he did uh-huh. but 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 then there's people online are saying she lied about being shot which she did not lie they're stupid about for saying being that. shot no you know what i'm saying you're saying why 
talk about it. I'm right? yeah, being someone who I grew up on social media, people are nice. So like you don't have to be honest with people you don't know. Keep it to your friends, keep it to yourself. You don't have to tell us about your sex life. Right. If you told Gail no, keep it that way. You could tell your friends, you know what, I really did, whatever it is. We don't have to know that. You don't have to tell us the truth. You don't owe that to mm, us. I think she did a mm-hmm. truth documentary. Like when when I sat down with Oscar De La Hoya, it's right there on Big Boy TV, and I did ask him about uh, dressing, you know, in the lingerie, yeah. and he said, "That's me." At some point, you just get this truth, like, and maybe because I went to Hoffman and I had some other therapy, so on and so forth. Yeah, there's just some truth that you just say, "Man, I'm not going to be held prisoner to this truth." But the one thing that I did gather mm-hmm. from the documentary as well, you guys, is that she was already not prepared for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, mentally, like, she wasn't prepared for everything that was coming for her. And then to dive right back in the pool and put yourself, you know, and and possibly put yourself in a position where the court of public opinion came right back out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So not not something was silenced, but if it wasn't silenced, she either turned it up, and if it was silent, she turned it back on. And that's what you're talking about, That's what I'm saying. It would have stopped. Well, I mean, I agree with me. Like, I like that that part was put in and she did talk about it, and she did let people know because it's information for other young girls who are in situations like this that go to a party that hang out with some guy who's got a gun and he's acting dumb and he's drinking just get out of there because yeah. this thing could happen to you or just say like, just say something just say you something be like saying? yo I'm out I don't need this energy I don't need to be around this situation like it's not worth it let's just get out hey man and when Tori called from jail hello yeah I got out this is when good. 50 Cent was like oh wait hold on they Leaked the jail audio. Yeah. That's when Fifth was kind of like, okay, well, maybe she didn't lie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got out. You know, anything y'all good? Uh, I'm in the hospital. I'm outside the hospital. And this I'm is him never, ever, talking to her talk best to friend. Again, but, bruh, I just want you to know, bruh, I was just so f-ing drunk. I didn't even know what the f- was going on, bro. That ass. I didn't even know what the f- was going on, bro. Like, that ass. I never do some shit like that, bro. Just that the guy's so drunk. I just didn't even understand what the f- was going on, bro. Like, but you know, regardless, that's not gonna make anything right, and that's not gonna make my actions right, bro. But I'm just deeply mm-hmm. sorry, bro. I never even moved like that, bro. Like, never moved like that at all, bro. Like, for real, for real, dog. So immediately he knew that he effed up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And people took yeah. that, and before he made that that call, before it got out to the public. Everybody had an opinion, including 50 Cent. Remember, 50 Cent was going on her Mm -hmm. after she did Gail. He was like, she's a liar. And then once the tape came out of Tori, you know, talking about it, and 50 even came on into the neighborhood, and he apologized. Megan Thee Stallion uh, versus Tori Lanez. The guilty verdict, everything. Yeah, I'm going to apologize to Megan Thee Stallion. Mm -hmm. I, um, I said some things, but and it was because on social media I posted things that when she said uh, she was with Gail, and she said that, uh, she said, were you intimate with Tory Lanez? And she said, uh, what? And then it was like, no. And I was like, ah, she lying. Mm-hmm. At that point, I knew she was, that, she's lying. There wouldn't be no reason for me to be around each other. Babe. And then uh, um, from that, it, it felt like she was lying to me. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, little things would pop up, and I wasn't, being supportive of her at right. that point. Right, you were and, a little more vocal. Yeah, and the only reason why I, I felt like, you know, at some point you should apologize, I should apologize to her is because um, when I heard the uh, the phone call conversation, yeah. that that made me feel like, oh, shit. <laughs> now I know what, the, what happened. No. Man, no, that's fifth, man. You Now, now every time you do something, you're going to apologize? No, when he oh, knows he's oh, wrong. Okay, that's a different subscription then. Yeah. That's different. Okay, that's a different subscription. No, then. because the mm-hmm. other one, you it's the court of public opinion. Again, like the internet, that's all they're going to take. Even when you read the things on Reddit where they talk about this, people are like, man, see, she lied about this. She probably lied about... That's the thing. Now she's making people question her again. Yeah. And I just, I believe everything she said. I just see the comments and I'm like, like you didn't need that. Right. Like, if you left that part out, that documentary would have been just as amazing. Like you, it is no, because then people would have said she left out the truth. But you don't think she lied? I don't know yeah. if they would. Lied about what? About her sleeping with with Tori? Hell yeah, she that, lied. And yeah. She came back and said she lied. Right. Yeah. So that, that what what is the question? That's it. We're at we're saying the same thing you're saying. Like, no, yes, you're she not. Lied. What, what what are you what are what are you talking about? 
I'm, we're just saying that we keep saying that uh, I can't believe she lied. That we just can't. I'm not. We're not talking about debate. Are we debating over if she lied or not? No. Or, you, could no. you say that you can't that believe she her anymore came. because of one lie? Like because she lied to their people. And, you, and Ani's her saying that she shouldn't have came out. Ani's not saying that he didn't shoot her. Did that? No, or he for li- sure the, shot yeah, her. Yeah. And yeah, the yeah. sex. Yeah. Dude, I feel like she lied about having sex. Yeah, she said it. Mm-hmm. So I don't. I don't know if uh, I. I don't think I understand your question or the, the similarities. Oh, because we right. get, we kept bringing up the, the fact that she lied, and we're like, yeah, we don't like. I don't like the fact that she did lie. Why did she have to lie? And then yeah, you keep... but Ani is saying that she shouldn't have said anything else in the documentary. At, in the documentary, mm. gotcha. you you're saying or you're on the side of or, or throwing it out there that if she lied about that, she'd lie about anything. Not you, but that's that was a point mm. that you brought up. Yeah, yeah. And what I'm saying, and then you ask me, do I think she lied? And I'm like, yeah, I think that she lied. Should she have put it in a documentary if it was her truth? Yeah, she should have put it in a documentary. Yeah. Because now she she got to own up to and live up to any repercussions that came from it, which is going to suck. Mm-hmm. But I think she should have, you know, if she said it. But I'm just saying our initial conversation when we were talking about this yesterday was the things that people took now Ani, you you stand next to the internet which is true that's what that's you do yeah. social media and everything but the things and it's crazy because maybe I'm different is wild because it's what people pulled away from it mm. nobody's seen the strength in this black woman nobody's seen mm-hmm. a college graduate no one's seen a granddaughter that was searching no one's seen a a daughter of a mother that passed no one's seen anyone that's taking care of her community no one's seen that was a a, a female that was working hard for her dreams. Everybody got caught up on this one thing, and that's what people took and ran with. Not, mm. not Even from the documentary, there were some beautiful moments mm-hmm. when she went to her mother's gravesite, had never been there. Beautiful moment. Talking mm-hmm. about her mom being thick and curvy, and she you know, kind of did her thing after her mom. Mm-hmm. No one said that. Her mom being in the studio telling her how to say her lyrics because her mom was a rapper. No one said that. The beautiful right. moments with... Everybody went to that one thing, right, and defined that as the yeah. Megan Thee Stallion documentary. Yeah, and when you have something called, in her words, those are her words, and those are her truths. Yeah, mm-hmm. and you think, it, love yeah. it or hate it. Yeah, the only thing that worries me, uh, that makes me nervous about that situation, about the lying part, that for me that just strikes me a certain way, is because when a girl is put in a situation, they're gonna believe everything she says. In this moment. Right, right, right. And it can get scary if you're lying, and then later we find out that, oh, that this guy got in trouble because of your lie. I'm right. not talking about this situation. I'm talking about other situations of, like, I never like, wanted to hook up. I never did that. And it's like, dude, the whole time you did. Right. Like, you know, there's certain, there was an actor that got in trouble because of— Yeah, I, but that's I, not what this is. But I'm just saying in that situation, for me, what triggered it was, like, I a girl right. was lying about hooking up. She literally said, no, but I never hooked up with him. she about him shooting her. She tried right, to— Right, no, but I'm saying— I'm She going tried back to cover for him the, shooting her. But I'm going back to just the lie. I'm going back to just the lie. Yeah, he never— He, he never admitted right. it. But again, still haven't said going back to just the lie. Where's his documentary at? I'm going back to just the lie. When she said, like, no, I never said with the— And the way she responded, we all believed. And then later she's like, yeah, I did. Like, like it was like nothing. I was like, ugh, that's the thing that makes me worried about if other girls would just take— like. Other girls can lie. Right, right. I think it's okay. And, and we've be seen that. We've seen that with you know certain people that said, "Oh, you yeah. know, he did this to me," and missed messed up somebody's career, right. or their college, whatever. And and I've seen that, but that's not what I. I, I mean, I can see the broad stroke that you're talking. That's about. That's where I'm coming from. But, I'm coming from that, from like the fear of like, Ugh, like what this. about what about the man that never admitted to him shooting her? Yeah, that is why he's in jail. Mm. That is exactly why he's in jail. Like everything was, everything's gonna come out. You know what I mean? Not here. But like, I'm just saying when you, when the girls put in a situation like that, just be truthful. That had nothing like if you were just and you. So Ani, you're saying not that she should have stood next to the lie. She shouldn't have said anything. Mm-hmm. I don't think she should. Like the same way on the are, internet. Too, what are babe. you saying, Jesus? All I'm saying is, that and I know out, it's hard to of, put it in a nutshell. Yeah, out of everything I got from all of this, the only thing I'm I care about or worried about or like that bothered me was the fact that she lied. And she's like, I didn't sleep with them. I didn't, and then like later, she says like, Yeah, I did. Like it's nothing. It's like, oh, that that little right. thing is. And a lot, a lot of people probably feel the same way. Scary. Yeah. A lot of people feel the same way you do as well, mm-hmm. Ani. And I know people that's watching this. I'm a softy. But right. they probably feel the same you way. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, yeah, I'm a, but as, as long as the whole thing, like, yeah, he deserves everything he's got. You know, I'm just mm-hmm. saying about that. I'm coming off of a lie. When a girl lies like that, it could be dangerous to somebody else. Like it could be. A, it's bigger than, than just like something small. Like I'm just gonna lie because. I'm scared. It's like, nah, you got to be truthful. Right, right. All the way. If you're put in this situation. And we know you don't lie. No, when I'm put in a situation <laughs> like this, 
the truth needs to come out. Yeah. Even if I'm wrong, even if I'm you right. You never came back to your girl and said something. And I don't mean, I don't mean the perfect relationship you're in now. I'm talking about relationships before. You never came back and said, yeah, I did. I lied about that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you, you got to be just... You know, be honest and let it out. You know, come back and say it. Yeah, and especially well, right there. That's the same thing. You got to be honest the second did. time. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Wait, wait, what what are you about to say? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just, I'm just saying. Well, like, just, you got to be honest. Just watch this back, uh, hey, Sue. Yeah. Right up. I hear what you're saying, but I'm, I'm thinking about something else. You guys are throwing other situations. No, no, I, and I'm like, I, wait, I know wait, what you mean, dog? I'm nah. trying to get my point Go across, ahead, Louis. and you're putting me in other situations. Uh, just off of everything that I've seen, like you said, those moments in her, but talking about like, yeah, this is what she wanted to do, and she wanted to let loose and put this out there for people to see what how she's kind of built. Mm-hmm. I think I explained a lot, bro. And if she didn't put that Tory Lanez part in there, oh, yeah. I don't think we would have been talking about this. 100%. Right. Mm-hmm. We would have been pissed if it and wasn't And then on everybody would, is, is, you know, hell if you do, no, damn if you do, hell damn yeah, if you man. don't. I really don't think that her saying the sleeping thing would have made it. Like, we, she was still going to talk about Tory. She said a lot about it. That But little I think piece, people would have been like, dude, she never addressed, she never said anything yeah, about Gail. Easy. But it wouldn't she be never, like, you're a liar. You pro, what else did you lie about? It, Free it, Tory. Yeah, that's true. It, it, it would have been, it would have still been bad. This is probably worse. That's true. Yeah, damage hey. you do, damage you don't. And shout out to the cameraman for this documentary because if I was one of those cameramen, oh my doc, god, man. Jesus Christ! It was a lot. It was a lot of a lot oh beautiful god. booty Song yeah. action and booty action. Yeah, a lot of beautiful booty oh action, man. I, I'll end on uh, Bun B. Here's the next thing, and I tried to be impartial and cool about this and not get it. Man, fuck that, man. Fuck Tory Lanez, okay? And I don't care if this go viral or none of that shit. I'm from Houston, and if somebody would have done something to Megan in this city, we would have rolled. That's it. And there was more to it, but, Damn. man, thank you, guys. Uncut. Yeah, thank man. you. Believe that, man. Big Boy Uncut, man. Make sure you log on and check us out, RadioBigBoy.com or Big Boy TV, and subscribe to all four of our yep. channels, man. Enjoy the rest of your day. And if you haven't had a chance to check out Megan Thee Stallion in her words, make sure you guys check it out. And to the neighborhood as well. Make sure y'all check it out. Yeah. We'll do. Yeah. <laughs> Continue to hang out and have a beautiful day with your loved ones, whatever it may be. But thank you for being in thank the neighborhood you. for Uncut. Thank we you. are Big Boys big Neighborhood. Boy.